Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Becky Truda and I am on Minimalese, a channel where I like to talk about minimizing, decluttering, and living your best life. So today I'm gonna to be walking you through my entire minimalist kitchen. I'm gonna to talk to you about the things that I have kept, the things that I have not kept, and the things that I also store in another place. So I'm gonna walk you through all of those things. I'm also gonna be doing a little bit of decluttering because I know a few things right off the bat that I've been meaning to get rid of and I've just been hanging on to them for way too long. So I also have one new thing that I got for my birthday that I'm gonna be reincorporating into my things in my kitchen. So that means one thing needs to go because that's just one of the rules I try to follow. So if you enjoy these kind of videos about decluttering and minimalism, then please hit that subscribe button because that means that I can come back into your living room next week. All right, friends. So I thought I would start with just a general walkthrough of what my kitchen looks like on a daily basis. So over here, over here most days, I keep this one pot out because I make coffee with it in the morning. I use a pour over, so I heat up my water in this container right here, this pot, and I generally just keep it on the counter because I know that it's too warm to put back into the cabinet where usually I'll put it up there, but it's too warm in the morning, so that's its home. That's where it stays most days unless I'm really trying to clean up my kitchen. Then I have one plug over here, and generally I try to keep my sink very clean. We got this new sink a couple of years ago, and I adore it. The thing I really like about this is that he put in a new faucet, which this one's awesome, so you can easily wash things. That is the whole sink area. Then over here, I always keep out our Alexa and my butter because I like it to be soft whenever I use it. This is my beautiful new birthday present for the things that I need to reincorporate into my kitchen, which means that another water bottle needs to go out and find a different home. So I'm gonna start in this cabinet right here and I'm just gonna open it up and walk you through what's in there. So this is where I keep all of our glasses. Um, there's also an essential oil, which is peppermint that I like to use for my sinus headaches. That's up at the top. So on this, Top shelf, you can see I have one of these wine glasses. Um, mainly it's used by my daughter because she just likes to be fancy sometimes. Then these are two of our fancier wine glasses. And then I do have four of these clear glasses. On the next shelf, I have three mugs. There are three of us in our family. And so between the mugs and these glasses I have up here, if we invite other people over, it's plenty, um, but I will show you where I keep a few extra things upstairs. Then down here, we actually have six plates. I believe three of them are in the dishwasher right now, and we have four bowls. So one of them was just used by my daughter this morning. This really helps when I'm doing the dishes. Um, so I do have to do the dishes more often, but it's just a lot less of them. And I have found that between six dishes and the four bowls and a few spares I keep upstairs, it's just plenty. I don't have big parties. I think if you're one to have huge parties a lot, that might be hard for you. Um, but when I do have Thanksgiving at my house, generally we just use paper or I ask them to bring over, like I'll ask my mom to bring over extra silverware. So in this little drawer, we just have um, I'll show you. I think we have paper bags and this is our cooler right here, our big cooler. Like if we go to the beach or something, I got it for free. I was so excited. It's really cute. All right, moving on to under the sink, which I think probably needs a little update. Uh, we have our recycling, our trash bags. We have our detergent for, not detergent. We have our soap for our dishwasher and then just, just some general cleaners. I really try to use a lot less paper towels. Um, that's just one of those things that I'm trying to incorporate into my life. And so I do have a bunch of rags that I keep in here. Um, I do have paper towels that I use in case of an emergency, something awful happens and I don't wanna ruin a rag. I keep them in there, but for the most part, we always just use some rags. Then I have some scrubber and just some general cleaners down here. All right, friends, so I have moved on to our drawers, which on the side underneath the sink. In this first drawer, we keep 
our extra Ziploc bags. Um, like I said, kind of like the paper towels, I try not to use plastic Ziploc bags, but I do have the emergency ones. Every once in a while you need a Ziploc bag for one reason or another, and I do have a few. Then I also have, um, <laughs> these are really fun. These are skewers for our fire pit when we're gonna make marshmallows, which we do pretty often. And then just some stuff for the grill we keep down there. The next drawer, this is my daughter's drawer. Uh, she's five, so I don't like her climbing on the cabinets as much as possible. So we keep a couple of plates and water bottles, and then this is just like an extra container if she wants to grab some snacks herself. The next drawer up is where we keep the Ziploc, well, they're not Ziploc, the stashers that we use most of the time. Um, there is a couple different brands we use. This is the Stasher brand. I'm not sure what brand is this. Oh, Zip, is Zip Top. These are really nice. These actually will stand up. Um, and they're easy to clean for me. Like I, you know, just rinse them out. I rinse them out and just put them in the sink and they do pretty well. So we have, I'm just gonna lay everything out for you. All right, y'all. So this is everything we have in our drawer for utensil wise. We have um, one of these like, spatulas we have a rolling pin that my grandma gave me uh we i do like to make biscuits with my daughter i have a recipe from my grandma that's homemade biscuits so that becomes very handy to be able to roll out i have one of those gripper things a pizza roller which i had given up for a couple like a year and my husband insisted on having one because we do like to make pizzas so we got one of those back Sometimes you make mistakes and you just kind of learn from things you get rid of. Luckily, that's not an expensive thing, so I don't worry too much about it. We just had to get it one. We just had to get another one. I have one set of um, spoons, one wooden spoon, one wooden flipper. I just got this one from my grandma. It's beautiful, so stainless steel flipper. So I've added that to the pack because I think one of those is just nice, not having to use wood all the time. I have one of these bottle openers, which this is also for like beer or wine. I used to have a ton of these, but I got rid of all my extra ones. And now this one really does everything. I don't feel like I need anything else. So this one's working great for me. And then we have one of these smaller measuring cups. I like the bigger measuring cups, but so far I just don't have a super need because I'm not some amazing cook. Um, so that has been plenty for me right now. All right, y'all, now we are in the drawer with the utensils, forks, spoons, knives. And this has really been a struggle for me to find the right amount. I've gone up, I've gone down, and now I feel like I've kind of reached a happy medium for the three of us and any guests we have. We have, let's see, two forks in here, but there are three in the dishwasher right there. So that's five, and plus, oh, I have one in my lunchbox, so that's six forks which is really something that we use very often. So six forks works well. Then we have these two spoons plus a little spoon, plus we have two more spoons in the dishwasher. So that's four regular spoons and one little spoon, which my daughter likes to take to school. We have four knives and we have two of these sharper knives for cutting things. Just one is in the dishwasher right now. So we do have two of those. The other one is a little bit bigger than that. All right, we do not have a pantry. So between this and this, we keep all of our spare food that we are eating. So there is a lot packed in here. But the main things I wanted to show you is this is what I use for my coffee. Um, it's a pour over. And if you are the only one drinking coffee in your house like me, this works great. And it saves on not having to have um, a Keurig taking up so much space. And mine just used to break all the time. It would drive me crazy. Um, and then I keep my daughter's snacks for lunch. So if you have um, a daughter or a son that gets a lot of snacks, this is just a nice, I have all these containers with her name on it. And generally, it's not done right now, obviously, but generally at the beginning of the week, I fill them all up with snacks. And then we, it's just an easy grab in the morning to put it in her book bag or at night. So that goes there. Here's where I keep my spices. And I also have some of my medicine that I use. And then just some extra food stuff we're eating this week. Up here is where I keep my tea. 
I have all my tea and then here are my extra stuff for my coffee, the extra filters. And then I also have, which in my last decluttering video, I cleaned this up. So I'm gonna link that. You'll be able to see it and go to that decluttering video. But in here, I just have the very basics for a party. I don't need, I found that I had a bunch of like random spare napkins, like three dog napkins. I mean, who needs three dog napkins? So I just got rid of all the spares and I only kept what I had enough for an actual party and some bowls that we had used, I guess, for our last party. All right, and this side cabinet, it's basically just snacks. Um, so we have some crackers, some snacks, some popcorn. Uh, recently this weekend, we got these adorable little bear honey lollipops from an orchard we went to. Um, Carrie Ann loves those, so we got a few of those. Those are in here, and it's just easy access to grab a few snacks if you get hungry. But I need to go grocery shopping soon, so it's not a lot in there. All right, moving right along. This is on top of my oven. We have all my baking stuff. And then, like I said, I usually don't use paper towels, but we do have this one roll. Um, and that just goes up here. And so if we do have an emergency spill, it's right there. So we just have some baking stuff. And then this is where I also keep um, my rack when things are too hot. I just keep it out of there, out of, out of the way. And when I do, like right now, I could do this right now. I put my pot right here, and that's where I keep my pot for my coffee. All right, real quick, there's not a lot in the next two cabinets. This is just like some oils and some fun uh, liquor that we have in here. And then I'm gonna go down to the bottom under the oven, and you can see this is where we keep our pots and pans. So we have one regular cooking pan. We have a cast iron pan my mom gave me. This one has um, little ridges on it, so it's nice for meats. And then we have one really big one that's for spaghetti or anything really big you need to do, like if I'm um, hard boiling eggs. And then we have the small one that I already showed you that I boil my coffee in. All right, y'all, so in this next main drawer where I have almost everything else, I am just gonna take it all out and put it on the mat underneath me because I just think it's an easier way. It's really dark in that cabinet because we have older cabinets that we have not redone. So I'm just gonna pull everything out and show you. This is also where I'm gonna be decluttering a few things that I have been holding on to way too long and I've just realized they're not me. All right, y'all, so this is the big bulk of my baking and cooking and everything. Um, that is my mom's, <laughs> I just found it. I need to return that to her. Um, but this is all that I use and it's all inside of that cabinet right there. And there are a few things that I know need to go. Now, one thing I notice is not here is my white water bottle. And that is, I guess, in my car. That is the thing, one of the things that I need to get rid of because I did get, this beautiful new pink one, which is even bigger and better and has like easier ways to drink. And so I'm going to upgrade to this one and I'm going to get rid of that white one. I think it's in my car, so I'm going to go get it. Um, and then this, I know super controversial because I've talked to lots of people that absolutely adore this thing. Um, but it's just not my style of cooking. And I think I am finally mature enough to realize that I am not gonna use this. This is just not how I like to cook. Though, like, I have lots of family members. They cook amazing things on there. I am not telling anyone else to get rid of it. Um, I think you just need to realize where your strengths are, and this is not one of them. So, it takes up a ton of space, and I don't use it very often. And on top of that, guys, my mom and dad have one. So, if I need to use it, don't worry. <laughs> if all of a sudden I become an Instapot fanatic, I can always borrow it from my parents. I live right down the street. So I will not go without. But I think this is just needing to move on to somebody else who is gonna enjoy it a lot more. And that's what decluttering is all about. Then I have <laughs> this amazing bottle opener my dad got me. Um, it is so much more than I needed, but it does the job, so I'm gonna keep it. I have my two glove things. My daughter made me this one. 
That's my husband's ugly water bottle, but he loves it. Um, I have just some random containers that I keep my food in. These two um, pans that have seen way better days, but I got them when we first moved in here. I think my aunt Kim gave them to me and I love them. They're super useful. This I like to use for when I'm baking little cakes. And then I have one sheet for cookies and one cutting board. And then these are my absolute favorite bowls. My grandma gave me these and they are very useful. I have them three different sizes. And then I have, um, this actually came from the Instapot, but I am gonna keep this because I just use this as my um, colander, my drainer. That's the right word, right? <laughs> Um, but like I said, I'm not a huge cook, so I'm not telling you to get rid of anything, but I do think you don't need as much as you think you do unless you are cooking for a whole army of children, which I am not. So this is plenty for me. Um, I think just, you know, being able to go through and find the things that you really love. Like I love these dishes, um, and they have lasted me through many, many meals so this is something I adore and I look at it and I have good memories. Um, but you know, this obviously not good memories for me. So I'm ready to let this go. And I also know that it's one of those things that I can get again if I absolutely have changed my mind and I can also just borrow it. So um, I'm lucky enough to have that option. This is my refrigerator, my master station for our house. This is where I just keep my um, big things that are coming or things that I do every week, like Kirian has soccer, we've got to remember that. This is where I keep the markers and gift cards if we have them. And then here are just some important papers from Kirian's school that I need to have out. And then this is my countdown to a thousand subscribers, which you guys can help me out with if you hit that subscribe button. But um, it's just like a fun, fun race for me. I'm enjoying it. And then finally, this is the front. Um, we have a birthday party and a wedding coming up. And then Carrie Ann just adores to have some of her artwork up and some more stuff for school. And yeah, that's about it. All right, finally, we're gonna move on to my least favorite part of my kitchen. Um, I have my dog's bowl stuff over here. I put it inside of this container because he is so sloppy. And this just keeps everything contained, all the water and food contained. I have my favorite mop, which I got at Target. Um, it is very useful and you can actually just wash the bottom in the washing machine and so you can reuse it. And there's my infamous vacuum, which is rigid brand, it's amazing. My microwave. And then over here is another thing I am gonna declutter. I'm just gonna keep this one really big dog food container. <laughs> and I'm gonna get rid of this other small one because Luckily now, my two dogs can eat the same food now that the other one has grown up a little bit bigger. All right, so real quick, it's kind of creepy in here, but this is my spare closet where I keep things that I'm not sure if I'm ready to get rid of yet. But in here, I keep a few extra things if we are having Thanksgiving at our house or a big party. So I have two extra bowls. I have two extra spoons, two extra forks. I have a few extra glasses. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six extra glasses. So it's not like we're going to go without. I just don't like having too many things out at one time um, because that gives us the opportunity to use them all and then have to clean them all and then it just becomes overwhelming to me. All right, y'all, I hope this video was helpful. Just a walk through a minimalist, minimalish kitchen in the things that I find important. I do cook in here a lot, but I am not a chef. So if that is what you're aspiring to, you may not find the things you need in here. But I will say that cutting back on a lot of things and decluttering a lot of my things and not keeping everything out has really helped me to live in a much simpler way in my kitchen. We really clean the dishes every night and things are put away and my life just feels so much simpler in my kitchen, which I know in a lot of households, because it was my own household, the kitchen can feel like a traumatic experience to be a part of, but when you have less things, there's just less things to put away, there's less things to clean, and that can bring a lot of joy into your life. So if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you again next week.